So since this drive up to Canada is about seven hours, I decided to split it halfway. I looked on Google Maps for like a park or something to go to. Waterloo State Recreation Area in Michigan. That's where I'm at now. And I'm gonna go for a run. And then after I've taken a sufficient amount of a break, go get lunch and then do the rest of the trip. Okay, I think I'll go for a run first, then I'll come back with the camera. Get that energy loosened up first. Oh my goodness, dude. It feels so good to be out of that car and running around. I need to be able to move, you know? Wish I didn't have to pay money to park here, but I actually only had $7, so I shortchanged them $2. My bad. <laughs> trying to get to like Hickory Lake Trail. It's a lake right over here. Lots of little small lakes here. Let's keep moving. I assume this is cotton? I don't know. I hardly ever do any trail running, but whenever I do, it's such a nice experience, man. So much nicer than roads, no cars, beautiful sounds, beautiful weather, hopefully minimal ticks and mosquitoes. <laughs> Lake View Trail. In memory of Lee Weathertree, Santa still walks the forest. I'm gonna go ahead and hazard a guess that Lee Weatherby looks like Santa Claus. Let's continue. I'm actually not sure where I started. I think maybe here? Yeah, right there. And somehow I got over to here. Well, that's where I'm going anyway. Let's keep going. So far this trail, lots of forested sections with these big open sections here too. I just love this feeling so much, man talked about it many times before but the feeling of using your own two feet to get somewhere and to just explore it's so interesting to see new stuff and to move you know number nine is where we're at here so we actually need to go back this way I came from that way Strangely, very turned around today. I think it's because I didn't really know where I started from. Oh well. Man, it feels good. Good Lord, this feels good. So, we've done all of this. Might as well go see if we can do the oak woods or the lowlands. I think we'll call it a day. After I do some push-ups, of course. Oh man. Okay. Parking lot is just up ahead. I think it's time for one last sprint. I didn't go on those other trails. One last sprint and some push-ups. Oh man, these mosquito bites. Holy cow, let's go. Actually, 
think it turns out I have no clue where I am. I think this bird is trying to lure me away from its nest. I've been following it for like 30 seconds now. I have no idea if that's something birds do. Seems like something they would though. Back. Got utterly eaten alive by mosquitoes. But other than that, good run. Oh man. A pretty telltale indicator of if I'm pretty healthy and feeling good is if I'm sweating in my eyeballs. Okay, before we leave, let's adventure archives up this park a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, time for lunch. Next stop, Canada. It's kind of a toss up whether I'll get hassled at the border. Although I feel like now that I have short hair, it's probably never gonna happen again. One thing I wanted to mention was that the reason I was so disappointed in my own behavior and such an expected response to the clutter and the moving and everything is that I'm terribly unpleasant to be around when I'm like that. You guys only get to see like five to 10 minutes of me every day and it's highly edited. So it may or may not be hard for you to imagine me being extremely unpleasant and not a very good person. But man, when I get in that situation, I'm just like the biggest, piece of human waste <laughs> and I apologize to everybody who has to put up with it. The last hour of a seven hour drive is definitely the worst. In the last hour you just can't understand how am I still not there? How could anything be that far? How do truck drivers do it? I don't understand. I'm questioning the point of existence at this point in a drive. What is the point of being alive? Okay, we have arrived, and by we, I mean me, have arrived at Wyatt's house. And he's got a mansion now. He didn't tell me about that though. <clears throat> and now we're gonna fly the drone. How does it feel? Does it feel like a video game? Dude, I'm so <laughs> uncertain and unsure of myself. <laughs> like I know these are expensive and this does not belong. <laughs> Don't worry. Oh, 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 hey. Shit. Hey. At least I got it on camera. <laughs> Fuck off. The field drone killer. Oh, I told you, I warned you. I said I'm gonna do it. I didn't believe him because everybody always says that. And I, I'm, I'm a man like, of no, my fine. word, Robbie. It's fine. If I tell Don't you I'm gonna kill it. your drone, I'm gonna kill your drone. <laughs> well, we got a beautiful sunset. Yeah, at least there's... It's too bad we can't film it with the drone. <laughs> chips that are flavored like grilled steak 
Whoa, that, yeah. Hmm. It both smells delicious and like unbathed nether region. <laughs> so it's heavily powdered. It's definitely heavily powdered. It actually looks a little bit like the skin of a velociraptor. Is that mold growing on there? Or? Let's hope not. It tastes like if you baked onions and then put HP sauce on them. Mm, okay. I've been eating healthy. I can eat half a bag of Doritos on the drive home. Yeah, why not? Sorry, I dropped some chips down there. That's all right, I'll find it later. All right, well. Yeah, those are gross. There you go. Yeah, actually, we'll still eat them though. I don't know about that one. That's got fur on it. Uh oh. Yeah, it's fur enough. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Mm. Cheers. Cheers. Rotten cabbage for all. Mm. It's got a good crisp to it. That's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one? That one, I don't know. That was a little iffy. Welcome to civilization. Chocolate pizza. Go for it. I want the music for that to be the na 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 na. Chocolate pizza. And Samurai Gourmet. Wyatt was sitting here. There was a fly on this chip bag right here. He said, what did you say? I said, check this out. Check this out. He grabs it and he says he has it in his hand. And I'm like, Wait, and no are one you believed serious? me. No one believed me. I think he might still be alive. You might want to squish it a little bit. Oh, well, yeah, Aww. imagine he flies away after all that. <laughs> yeah, now PETA is going to be on your blog.